A new policy under the Trump administration would no longer grant automatic citizenship to some military children born overseas. And it already has some on social media in an uproar. One viewer writing on 47 ABC's page, quote, This is no way to thank military families for their service to our country. Another writing in part, quote, So they can risk their life for our freedoms, but they aren't entitled to citizenship. But at 47 ABC, we spoke with immigration attorney Stephen Planzer about the new policy and asked directly, should most military families be worried? The answer is no, because of something called birthright, the term used when a child is born to two U.S. citizens. You don't have to file for paperwork. You don't necessarily have to prove X, Y, Z. These are conditions that are met, and you're automatically a U.S. citizen. Just like if you were born in the United States, you're automatically a U.S. citizen. So who will be affected? The USCIS has put it out plainly in a flow chart showing those would be affected are children who were born in another country and were then adopted by U.S. service members while they are overseas, children who were born to U.S. service members who didn't get naturalized until after the child's birth, and children who were born to two U.S. service members who are citizens but do not meet the physical presence requirements to transmit citizenship to their child at birth. The problem is for those families affected, they will face a more difficult process of requesting citizenship for their child because of the process through immigration. And in immigration times, I mean, they, they, they vary greatly. Depending on the petition, it could be anywhere from, you know, two or three months to 18 months, up to four years, five years. I mean, it, it, there's a lot of uh, lags when it comes to this.